Welcome to Watch Me Code, episode 15. Have you ever seen a browser taking up hundreds of megs of memory, or even gigs of memory? I know I have, and it's quite frustrating too, especially when the browser starts slowing down the entire computer just to be rendering and working with a web page. A browser really shouldn't be taking up that much memory, quite honestly. But I want to let you in on a little secret here. I have a very simple page set up here that has a simple button click handler using jQuery. Inside of this handler, I have a loop set up to run through 100,000 iterations of creating an object that has an attribute with some data in it. Now, there's probably a couple of paragraphs worth of information in this string right here. It's roughly 4,000 characters long, not quite that. So that's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe four or five paragraphs. And every time we loop through this 100,000 iterations, we create a new copy of that string and we stuff it into this array. So the other thing that I have open is the activity monitor in OS X. I have this open specifically so that I can see the memory being used by Chrome. So when I click this a few more times, I now have over 1 million records inside of that array. And when I go back to the activity monitor, I can see that the memory usage has increased quite a bit. But more importantly, we're going to do something with this array that we didn't do in the previous page. Instead of just refreshing the page to get rid of the memory, I've got a second function here hooked up to a second button that doesn't do a complete page refresh. Instead, it handles the click and it simply wipes out the array inside of that object. Up next, we have closures. And closures are an interesting little beast in and of themselves. Now, as you might have guessed by now, closures are essentially memory leaks by design. They allow one function to access a variable from a scope that it does not actually have access to. And this is a really powerful feature of JavaScript and other languages, including C Sharp and others but it's also potentially dangerous as it introduces yet another place where memory can be eaten up and referenced when you don't realize that it is still being referenced. So within the clean method, I can simply do the reassignment of the variable to an empty array and all the memory will be cleaned up when I click this button. So I click this, we see that the length went back to zero and after a few seconds or however long it takes, we will see that the memory is cleaned up inside of this tab. So now, having seen all of the ways that we can eat up memory in JavaScript and some of the tools and techniques that we can use to clean up that memory, it's time to look at how this actually comes to bite us and infect our applications with the zombie virus. <laughs> 